All right, it says I'm live. Let's see if it works this time. Maybe you're out there. Maybe I'm out there. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, let's see if coming up live on my system over here. Yes, it's working. We are live, and I'm watching myself all by myself. This is great. Well, at least the company's good out here today, I tell you what. Hey, there's Cheryl. Do, 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 do. They're logging in. We see you. Can you hear me? I'm using my specialty microphones. You see me. I'll be. Hey, CK. Nice. Julie's coming in. There's Peggy. Oh, this is fun. Awesome. Now, I'm going to do it pretty quick today because my situation is I'm supposed to be teaching a quilt class. And my friends in the quilt class are in the other side of the room, and you can hear their sewing machines running. So I'm going to try to behave myself and make this pretty quick. But how cool is it that I get to go to all the way to Cape Cod and teach quilt making? So I'm pretty stoked on all that. Um, quilting on a budget's out there. It is going very well. Oh, and now people are watching me live on the other side of the room, so I can hear that they can hear me. So we're going to get multiple stereos going. I'm just going to turn myself down a little bit. Sound is great. I was told we could use our ear pods for this. And I want to walk around a little bit and show you all the reverse applique. Um, and again, we've got dinner pretty quick here. So I'm not going to take a long time. Hey, Martha, how are you? Great to see you. Oh, I forget. I'm waving at my other screen. I'm monitoring my comments on my iPad. And I, again, I just wanted to make sure everybody got to see me. So I'll start the video. Hello, everybody. It is Rob Appel from Michael Miller Fabrics, and welcome to another live episode of Making It Fun, episode, episode, something like that. And I am super stoked because I'm out on the road teaching uh, quilting, and I wanted, as I said last week, to be able to go live so I could do these kinds of things uh, a little more spontaneously and then just bring you into my lifestyle a little bit more and have fun with you, all of you this way. So um, I'm really excited. And... Um, at any rate, let me go ahead and show you a little bit of the reverse applique we started working on. And then I've tried to also preload a little slideshow of a couple of neat pictures I got on the waterfront last night. So let's check in on a couple more comments. Um, cool. Cheryl's never been to Cape. It's pretty dang awesome. Um, not coming close, Seth, to Indy anytime soon. I, uh, I apologize. My calendar's pretty full and I don't have anything. Well, that's not true. I'll be in Ship Shuan, I think, next summer. Maybe that's close enough. Um, awesome, awesome. Okay, so let me show you here. Um, I'm gonna take an unplug and let's go for a little walkabout. And so I'm gonna turn the camera around here. And now you're in the big, beautiful quilting room. Now I am on Cape, they call it. Everybody wave, you're all on video over here. Yes, and they're all sewing away. And am I in West Dennis? Is that where I'm at? You are in West Dennis. I am in West Dennis in the downstairs level of a maritime museum, which I think is a super cool place for the surfing quilter to be teaching. Look at this wonderful light we get in here. This is great. Okay, now you're all waving on this side of the room. And I promised the ladies I wouldn't zoom in too close because they're in the middle of their workshop and it's their first day doing reverse applique. So I'm going to do the, the long distance flyover and let you all enjoy. If anyone wants to wave, say hi mom at home or anything like that. There you go. Fantastic. Cool, and then let me bring you another project. Oh, and be sure you're always taking Dramamine at, um, technically would be one o'clock Pacific, so you have 30 minutes to digest your Dramamine before I go live. And here over here is what we're working on. These are just a couple of fun samples of reverse applique. If you don't know the term reverse applique, what I did is I put the black fabric on top of either the blue or the orange pink fabric there. And then I stitched the design first so let me see here. I stitch those edges first, and then I cut them away with actually a seam ripper to let this blue fabric here come through first. And then after all of that work's done, then I come back in later on and do the free motion machine quilting. So it's technically all raw edge work, all raw edge reverse applique work. And these were design as you go things, but I also brought my new friends out here on Cape uh, some patterns. So some of them were doing my thing, some of them were doing their own things. And it was super, super, super fun. So, um, and then while we're giving you the tour, there's my messy backpack and a bin of sewing supplies, of course, because that's what we do here. And then let's go ahead and flip the camera back around so you can check out my uh, messy hairdo. And I can come back over here and I can check in on some comments. And I am coming to Minnesota next, in two weeks. Um, 
so I'll be in Minnesota in two weeks from now. Chaska Area Quilters Guild, I believe. Um, got it. Okay, now let's see. Now you got a secret. Oh, you know all my secrets. Thank you, Cheryl, for the compliments. I do appreciate that. Um, now, what I also wanted to do is use all of my good close friends out there as uh, guinea pigs today as well, because you know I'm using an app that I normally use to move all the cameras around at home, but I only brought my iPad and my cell phone with me on this trip. So I'm looking at what you're looking at uh, next to me here on the iPad, something like that. Um, so what I did is I put pictures into the frames here. So let's see if this works. I wanna show you a little bit about where I started. So last week I flew to um, North Dakota, Minot, North Dakota, and my first stop was at this cool little Scandinavian church and village. And I tried to get a cool picture of like those neat, like, um, oh gosh, dragon heads or whatever that are popping out of the top of the church roof there. I thought that was pretty cool. And then, of course, I found a dollar horse there. That was pretty neat to see. And everybody was excited because this was a beautiful day in North Dakota. Um, it was up in the 50s, and they were all running around in shorts and T-shirts. I thought that was pretty clever. And then uh, I was quilting there. I didn't get any good quilting pictures, but I got to tell you this. I was a little timid, intimidated. Um, and... Um, I was there to present uh, at a uh, banquet and I had 250 folks coming to the banquet. And so this was as we were setting up the room and you see that flag quilt there at the back wall. So just for perspective, that flag is eight feet long. And um, so, you know what? I see a really good question here that I want to address too. Uh, Debbie's asking me if I am still with Missouri Star Quilts Company. So let me bring this camera back here and give you a little more information. Um, because a lot of you saw back a couple weeks ago, there was an announcement that went out that no, I am no longer doing the man sewing videos. I am no longer with Missouri Star Quilt Company. They were the ones that created the brand man sewing and invited me to participate as the host and create all those quilts and all that content and all of that fantastic stuff out there. But yeah, at the beginning of the year, the contract was up for renewal. They decided not to, and I completely understand. It was a good business decision on their part. A little heartbreaking for me because the man sewing audience is something that's really, really important to me. Um, and the videos will remain at YouTube. And so you can still enjoy all of those products out there. Or projects, I sorry, I said products. I mean to say projects. But um, this is what I'm now doing. I am now doing my, it's not even my own channel. I'd love it to be my own channel and I wanted to make my own channel. But my good friends at Michael Miller Fabrics um, approached me and said, Rob, we would rather you do a channel for us and let's make this fun. And I've always loved working with them and they offered me a fantastic um, package. So I said, let's do this. So technically making it fun is the name of the blog that M Michael Miller Fabrics has had for years and years and years. So I want this making it fun TV to kind of be the next modern version of what we're doing at making fun and just kind of expanding the Michael Miller products so that I can spend my time showing and sharing sewing and life that will help support a lot of the local quilt shops and all that kind of stuff. So I'm super excited about it. Um, super blessed for the opportunity Missouri Star offered me. I was so excited to build the mass subscriber base we did over at um, a Man Sewing, but I would love it if that giant 160,000 plus followers came on over and started subscribing now here at Making It Fun, because this is where I'll be putting my energy moving forward. Now, back to the slideshow. And, um, oh, and you're uh, welcome. Um, so, um, quilting on a budget, uh, you're selling, and I, I'm sorry, I thought that was Seth, but maybe not. Anyways, um, thank you for showing us that dudes can quilt. Well, you're welcome. I want to remind all of us out there that I don't actually use that part of my body to hold my rotary cutter. I would think that would be pretty dangerous. Um, and also pretty impressive, if you know what I mean. Now, I'm just being awful. But what I'm trying to say is, yes, I love being a dude that makes quilts, because yes, I have a different approach to quilt making. But I love the fact that everybody makes quilts, and I am super honored that when we started man sewing, it was a safe place for guys to, to feel they could come and hang out with another guy that was just making quilts. And that was the message and that's what happened. And I feel so honored to have been a part of that for all of you out there. Um, okay, now, some of you saw, this was really, really fun. Um, and this is one of the things I wanna do. You know that I believe that as a professional quilt making artist, 
I need to have other kinds of art that I can do as my craft or as my hobby or as my learning, as my playtime. So this year it's gonna be photography and videography. I've gotten a decent DLSR, a, a pretty camera. I got a good camera and I got a new iPhone so that I can communicate better with my technology and all of you. And so I got stuck in the Denver airport for like seven plus hours and I was really pretty frustrated. I'd gotten up at 4 a.m. to catch a flight out of North Dakota over to Boston to go to Cape Cod. I had a beautiful afternoon lined up in Cape Cod when I got there, if I got there, and I was waylaid and I was pretty frustrated. And as I was setting my backpack down, there were these two little birds that were bouncing around in the Denver airport. And I thought, well, they're having fun at the Denver airport. They don't belong here. And I don't feel like I belong here right now, but maybe I should have some fun. And so I pulled out my camera and I started trying to do what we call B-roll, getting video of just nonsense stuff that you can add into other videos. And that became my day. I just wandered around with my big camera out making an absolute goofball out of myself in this giant crowded airport. And I think I actually entertained some folks and they had fun and I made a video, but I found these really cool shirts from this company called Be Good to People. And I love their logo, it's so simple. It's black and white. So I got myself a new t-shirt, made a really fun little four minute video about buying the t-shirt. And so I would encourage you to check that out if you haven't already seen it because it's really fun. And that's the other kind of stuff I'd like to offer us all here at this Making It Fun channel. I eventually did make it to Cape Cod. I was a little lost, so I stopped for directions here at this sign. And you can see I was uh, still confused as it had everything other than where I needed to be on the sign. And now I'm just kind of being silly, but I did wander out with that camera. And even though the light was right above me, I just thought it'd be kind of fun. Um, to go ahead and uh, shoot some video and see what I could do and just have a little fun uh, goofing around while I was out there. And so I got a couple pretty pictures and obviously some neat um, fishing gear and again, learning some how to use the settings. I bought my camera local um, from a nice guy at a camera shop and he promised he would answer me every question as long as I never came in with my camera set to automatic again. And so um, I'm doing my best to learn my settings and that's what I was practicing last night as I was on the waterfront and uh, just a beautiful little uh, village. I'd like to make a quilt that looks like this someday. This was the side of a building um, and I just saw it and uh, you know I believe that inspiration is everywhere. And so I try to gather art as I travel about and try to find things that um, just show off, you know, some of the things I see along the way. So I think this would be a really neat um, starting place for a quilt one of these days. Um, just look at that water. I mean, what else can I say to that? Uh, if you ever need to figure out how to quilt or paint texture into water, um, camera was doing its finest work there. And then I arrived at the church right before sunset or right as the sun was setting to go in and do my big trunk show, um, which I did last night and again this morning to several folks and just had a glorious time and just having this fabulous week out on the road here, um, sharing quilting, sharing the passion of it and all of that. So it's almost dinner time for us out here and I wanna try to keep on my schedule. So I'm gonna wrap it up pretty quick. Let me check a couple more comments. Oh, thank you, Cheryl, for saying the video was hilarious. I did have such a fun time making it. And I even edited it just on my iPad. I didn't really have any editing software. Um, and it's kind of funny. When I first decided to make my own video studio, I ran out and dropped a bunch of cash. And some of it I spent on some pretty high-end video editing software that I've yet to use. So that's kind of a fun little, you know, maybe you should think it out a little bit further before you dive in, check the water before you jump kind of thing. But um, you know me, I like to draw with a Sharpie. I like to cut beautiful fabric with a rotary cutter with no ruler, you know. I just like to dive in and see what happens. That's being an artist, I guess. And um, awesome, Amy's learning settings on her camera too. That's awesome. Yeah, it's amazing what you can really do with it. It's fantastic. Um, awesome, okay, so I am gonna start to wrap it up here. I really appreciate all of you zooming in and checking out just for a little conversation today. I know I promised you I would always try to do something educational in there. Today was more of a slideshow and um, you know, check out my quilts, check out the classroom and stuff. Now next week I told you I was gonna be snowboarding and that's almost true. I will be snowboarding the days beforehand. So I promise to be back next Wednesday, 1.30, um, Pacific time, 4.30 Eastern time. We'll be at the home studio, so maybe we'll put together a fun quilt square or something. Um, things are starting to come together pretty neat in there, and I'm really excited about it. 
So with that said, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. And I really appreciate you all being out there this afternoon. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And ooh, maybe that's what I should do next week for the live is put together a little movie. Apparently there's somewhere on YouTube, there's a button you push to be notified when I go live. Part of it will try to be to stay on schedule, but there'll also be other days where something awesome happens and I'm just gonna turn the camera on and, and start explaining what I'm seeing. So that's when you're gonna wanna be notified. So there's a bell style notification somewhere else out in there um, and uh, that you can notify yourself when we go live here. And we'll also be keep playing with all of the Facebook, but Facebook is still Michael Miller Fabrics. Instagram is still Michael Miller Fabrics, but the blog and the new YouTube channel is making it fun. And I I hope I did just that today, make it a little bit of fun from the interview from Cape Cod on the road, the slideshow and all of that. And we will see you all really, really soon. Thanks for playing along.